Hey, Tyler here with Website Hosting Guides, and this is a quick tutorial on how to set up GoDaddy on your SiteGround hosting account. Okay, the first thing you'll need is obviously a GoDaddy domain name. I'm going to guess you already have one if you're looking at this. If you don't, go ahead and go to this link, which is also below, websitehostingguides.com slash GoDaddy99 to get a 99 cent domain name. The second thing you'll need is a SiteGround hosting account. So go ahead and go to websitehostingguides.com slash SiteGround1 to get your discount SiteGround. The, the next thing we'll do is go to SiteGround.com now that you have it and we'll log in go to my accounts and we'll go ahead and click manage accounts if you just set this up right up here I believe there's a, a box that says go to cPanel so click that click go to cPanel and what we want here is the IP address right here you can also set it up with the name servers, but we're going to set it up with the IP address. So copy this, and now we go over to GoDaddy, log into the account, go to visit my account, and we'll find the domain name that we want to use. Go ahead and click Manage DNS. And we'll go ahead and we want to change this, right? So click the edit button. We'll change this to the IP address that we copied from SiteGround. Click save. And now we'll go over back to SiteGround. So right now your domain name is pointing to your SiteGround host. Now we need to go into SiteGround and add the domain in SiteGround so we can start building the site. So I just got to see what the name of this is domain is and we'll add that domain name here after you add all this stuff oops usually it just updates this I don't know why it didn't so we'll just call it alright cool click add domain and then go back to your cPanel. The next thing we need to do is we need to install the CMS. I always use WordPress, so to install WordPress, you just go ahead and click WordPress Installer. And then when this pulls up, click Install again. And then you'll need to find the domain name that you um, want to set up on WordPress. All right, and then go ahead and fill all this information in. I'm not going to do it here. Fill in your admin username and click install. After you click install, everything will be set up. You can log into WordPress and start building your website. So that is it. If you want more information on SiteGround tutorials, go ahead and go to websitehostingguides.com slash SiteGround. And also don't forget to get your discount SiteGround account as well as GoDaddy account. Hopefully this was helpful and have a great day.